Princess Catherine never looks more classy, glowing in Queen's barouche as tribute to the late monarch. The newly appointed Prince and Princess of Wales joined King Charles III and Camilla, Queen Consort, in the procession of the Queen's coffin to Westminster Hall on Wednesday. The Princess of Wales is paying sweet tribute to the Queen through her choice of accessories for the Queen's procession, including a poignant brooch. Kate Middleton traveled in a car beside Queen Camilla today for the procession to lying in state from Buckingham Palace. The Princess of Wales wore the late Queen's diamond and pearl leaf brooch, as well as Princess Diana's Collingwood pearl drop earrings. The unique brooch features a trio of pearls in the middle of a paved set leaf. It features yellow gold and is thought to be a recent creation. The brooch has only been seen a handful of times over the years, with the Queen notably wearing it on her 73rd birthday for a special concert in Seoul in April 1999. Kate Ward at the Tynecott Commonwealth War Graves Cemetery in Ypres, Belgium, at a commemoration ceremony to mark the centenary of Passchendaele in 2017. The princess was also thought to be wearing pearl drop earrings which belonged to her namesake Diana, Princess of Wales, for the service in Westminster Hall. According to an insider source, Princess Kate's Collingwood pearl earrings once belonged to the late Princess Diana, who received the jewels as a wedding gift. Plus, Princess Diana wore them over a dozen times, either dressed up or down, and they've been worn as many times by Princess Kate to official functions. Holding her composure, the mother of three looked effortlessly elegant in the all-black ensemble, adhering to royal mourning protocol. A somber Princess Kate was a vision of ethereal grace as she sported an ebony coat dress and a traditional mourning veil crafted from black netting for the occasion. Prince William looked equally smart in military attire. The poignant event was also attended by the Queen's children, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, and Prince Edward. Wearing black during a period of mourning is customary for the royal family, a practice deeply rooted in royal tradition as used as a mark of respect for the dead. We can expect the British royals to wear black from now until seven days following the Queen's funeral when royal mourning ends. During the moving 38-minute procession, cars carrying the Queen Consort, the Princess of Wales, and Markle followed behind. Kate Middleton was spotted through the window of the vehicle and pinned to her outfit for all to see was a touching tribute to the late monarch. The brooch may be considered an appropriate choice for a somber event to mark the Queen's death, as white jewels like pearls and diamonds are traditionally worn by members of the royal family during periods of mourning. Meghan Markle also wore jewelry that was a nod to Queen Elizabeth in the form of pearl and diamond earrings gifted to the Duchess of Sussex by Her Majesty. The Princess of Wales and the Duchess of Sussex were visibly emotional during the service saluting the arrival of Queen Elizabeth's coffin. Standing shoulder to shoulder with their husbands, Prince William and Prince Harry, Kate and Meghan seemed to blink back tears before the monarch's coffin, which was draped with the royal standard and raised on a catafalque. As for Kate in particular, Meghan touched on how she saw Kate during her tell-all interview with Harry in 2021, alongside her feelings on the Kate vs. Meghan feud narrative that played out in the British tabloids. A source told that Kate felt they didn't have much in common other than the fact that they lived at Kensington Palace, for the Sussexes moved to Frogmore Cottage and ultimately Montecito. Kate, thus, reportedly didn't put a lot of effort into becoming close with Meg. In the meantime, Harry appeared to get a little emotional during the ceremony while alongside Meghan. He was particularly vocal about how close he was to the Queen, especially during this past year. We have a really special relationship, Harry once shared. We talk about things she can't talk about with anyone else.